The mother of a kindergartner says another young boy sexually assaulted her son at school. She says that the school didn't notify her quickly enough and she's taken her complaint to law enforcement. News 13's Rex Hodge is streaming live from the Jackson County Sheriff's Office. And Rex, you spoke to the mother and the school district. What are they saying? The mother, Ansley Cato, says another kindergartner at her son's school here in Silva has been bullying him and yesterday sexually assaulted him. School leaders say they can't talk specifics, but they are looking into it. Oh, it would if Ansley Cato says it was recess about noon Thursday at Scotts Creek Elementary School in Silva when her six-year-old son in kindergarten was assaulted by another child. He tells me that he was pretending to be a kitten, so he was down on all fours. The child grabbed him by the back of the pants, lifted his pants up, and put his hand down my son's pants. She says the school took too long to notify her. Three hours after it happened. I wanted to know right then so I could take him to the ER like I did yesterday evening. Cato says the examination showed no physical damage, but she says the school failed her. There were four teachers present when it happened and nobody saw anything and nobody called me until three o'clock. And on that pl playground, um, I had three adults and two classrooms playing, so at, at no time do I feel that there was a lack of supervision on the school system's part. Jackson County Schools Superintendent Mike Murray says these cases are taken very seriously, but due to confidentiality laws, he says he can't discuss specific cases. Cato filed a report with the sheriff's office and talked to a detective. She has spoken with the child's mother and the child's mother didn't think it would happen again. But still Cato worries, saying this child has targeted her son. This child has bullied my child several times, has physically assaulted my child, but yet none of this was ever brought to my attention. No charges are filed in this case. The school system is also investigating and says if there's merit to it, it will respond appropriately. Reporting live tonight from Jackson County, Rex Hodge, News 13.